Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will proclaim your praise. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, for his hands formed the dry land. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah. As on the day of Massa in the wilderness, when your fathers tested me and put me to the proof, though they had seen my work. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. For forty years I loathed that generation, and said, They are a people who err in heart, and they do not regard my ways. Therefore I swore in my anger that they should not enter my rest. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Captivity is captive land. 
girded with power and the beauty of his strength. His throne has been prepared. Alleluia. The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed. He is girded with strength. Yea, the world is established. It shall never be moved. Thy throne is established from of old. Thou art from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their roaring. Mightier than the thunders of many waters, mightier than the waves of the sea, the Lord on high is mighty. Thy decrees are very sure, holiness befits thy house, O Lord, forevermore. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord reigns, girded with power and the beauty of his strength. His throne has been prepared. Alleluia. Let the earth bless the Lord and all that dwells in it. Let them praise him singing. Alleluia, alleluia. All ye works of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. All ye angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye heavens, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O all ye waters that are above the heavens, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O all ye powers of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye sun and moon, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O every shower and dew, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O all ye spirits of God, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye fire and heat, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye cold and heat, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye dews and hoar frosts, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye frost and cold, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. 
O ye ice and snow, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye nights and days, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye light and darkness, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O let the earth bless the Lord. Let it praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O all ye things that spring up in the earth, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye fountains, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye seas and rivers, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye whales and all that move in the waters, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O all ye fowls of the air, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O all ye beasts and cattle, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye sons of men, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O let Israel bless the Lord. Let them praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye holy and humble of heart, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O Ananias, Azarias, and Misael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son with the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him forever. Blessed art thou in the firmament of heaven, and worthy of praise and glorious forever. Let the earth bless the Lord, and all that dwells in it. Let them praise him, singing, Alleluia, Alleluia. Heaven and earth rejoice at your resurrection, O Christ. Your cross shines brightly throughout the world, and your glory fills the earth. Alleluia! Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his host. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. And he established them forever and ever. 
He fixed the bounds which cannot be passed. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps. Fire and hail, snow and frost, stormy wind fulfilling his command. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars. Beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds. Kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth. Young men and maidens together, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above earth and heaven. He has raised up a horn for his people, praise for all his saints, for the people of Israel who are near to him. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Heaven and earth rejoice at your resurrection, O Christ. Your cross shines brightly throughout the world, and your glory fills the earth. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Two of Jesus' disciples went to a town which was sixty furlongs from Jerusalem, named Emmaus. And they talked together of all these things which had happened. And it came to pass that while they talked and reasoned with themselves, Jesus himself, also drawing near, went with them. But their eyes were held that they should not know him. And he said to them, What are these discourses that you hold one with another as you walk and are sad? And the one of them, whose name was Cleophas, answering, said to him, Art thou only a stranger to Jerusalem, and hast not known the things that have been done there in these days? To whom he said, What things? And they said, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty in work and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and princes delivered him to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we hoped that it was he that should have redeemed Israel, and now besides all this, today is the third day since these things were done. Yea, and certain women also of our company affrighted us, who, before it was light, were at the sepulchre, and not finding his body, came, saying that they had also seen a vision of angels, who say that he is alive. And some of our people went to the sepulchre, and found it so as the women had said, but him they found not. Then he said to them, O foolish and slow of heart to believe in all things which the prophets have spoken. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things, and so to enter into his glory? And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded to them in all the scriptures the things that were concerning him. And they drew nigh to the town, whither they were going, and he made as though he would go farther. But they constrained him, saying, Stay with us, because it is towards evening, and the day is now far spent. And he went in with them. And it came to pass, whilst he was at table with them, He took bread, and blessed, and broke, and gave to them. And their eyes were opened, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. And they said one to the other, Was not our heart burning within us, whilst he spoke in this way, and opened to us the scriptures? 
And rising up the same hour, they went back to Jerusalem. And they found the eleven gathered together, and those that were staying with them, saying, The Lord is risen indeed, and hath appeared to Simon. And they told what things were done in the way, and how they knew him in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Alleluia, alleluia. You have risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Alleluia, Alleluia. Are you the only stranger who has not heard about Jesus, and how they handed him over to be condemned to death? Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people, and has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets from of old that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. The oath which he swore to our father Abraham to grant us that we, being delivered from the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people in the forgiveness of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, when the day shall dawn upon us from on high, to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Are you the only stranger who has not heard about Jesus, and how they handed him over to be condemned to death? Alleluia. Let us pray to Christ, crying out to the author of life, 
whom God raised through his power as he will raise us. Hear us, Christ our life. Hear us, Christ our life. O Christ, light shining brightly in the darkness, Prince of life and Saviour of mortals, make us pass through this day joyfully. Hear us, Christ our life. O Lord, who walked the way of passion and the cross, grant us that, suffering and dying with you, we may also rise with you. Hear us, Christ our life. Son of the Father, teacher and our brother, who established us as kings and priests to our God, grant that we may offer a sacrifice of praise to you with joy. Hear us, Christ our life. King of glory, we look forward to the bright day of your coming, that we may contemplate your face and be transformed to be like you. Hear us, Christ our life. Now let us pray as Christ the Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. O God, may your people always exult, renewing the youth of their spirit, that those who now rejoice in the restored glory of their adoption may look forward to the day of resurrection with the hope of certain joy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Regina Celi Letare Alleluia Qui aque meruisti portare Alleluia Resurrexit sicut dixit Alleluia Ora pro nobis Deum Alleluia